Hi and welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design a responsive navigation bar using Bootstrap version 5. So make sure that your project directory is set up correctly and containing the various necessary Bootstrap version 5 folders and files. For example, here I have the CSS file containing my bootstrap.css and then the JS file containing the bootstrap.js file. So here I have with all the necessary links. Okay, this is the link to the bootstrap.css file. Down here is the link to my style.css. Okay, the file where I'm gonna write all my CSS code. So down here is the JavaScript links. So as you can see here, I have the bootstrap.js file as well. So as I said at the beginning, we are going to design a responsive navigation bar using Bootstrap framework. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to write a header tag. I'm gonna give it a class header like this. And inside this header, I'm going to copy and paste the navbar code that I will copy from the Bootstrap version 5 website. So come to the Bootstrap version 5 website, click on Docs, and then click on Components down here, scroll down, then click on Navbar. And then if you scroll down here, you can see the various codes. So we are going to copy this very first code here, copy and then I will paste it inside the header tag like this, then save. So let me refresh the page. Ta-da, as you can see here, I have the nav bar based on the code I just copied from the Bootstrap version 5 website, okay? So now I am going to customize this particular code in order to give us um, a customized navigation bar. So nav, class nav brand here, I'm going to change this to code in reverse. So this is actually representing a logo. Okay. If you had uh, the picture of your logo, you could add an image tag here and then uh, link your image, your logo inside here. But here I'm simply going to use some text and I'm also going to use a special font to make this text that different from the other text in this navigation bar. So the second one is the button. Okay. The button here. So concerning the button, this is the toggle button or the burger button. Whenever we reduce our, our website, okay, you can see that we have this burger menu button here okay so in order to get that we always have to make sure that this target uh, data target um, class is the same as this id in our collapse class here okay so i'm gonna keep these two like this and uh, here i'm go simply gonna remove this then copy and paste this i will add another class here I will say justify content between. So this is actually to make sure to separate the components in the navbar. You know, here I have the logo, the brand, and then the navigation bar items. So it did not work. Oh, what am I going to do here is to here, instead of making a margin right, I'm going to say margin left auto like this. Okay, as you can see, now I have the margin left here based on what I specified. Okay, so I guess I'm good to go. Um, so here, I'm simply going to change this. So I'm going to leave it to home like this. The second one will be blog. Third one, I'm going to say services. So just as an example, I'm going to leave this like this. And... Uh, I will remove this one, copy this, paste, paste like this, copy the drop down item. I'll paste it down here. Then I will also copy this again and paste it down. So I will say customers, purchase, pricing, and then the last one will be contact us. I will save. So this form here is representing the button and then the search box, as you can see here. Um, I'm gonna remove that. I simply need a button. So I will say UL class 
I will give it the same class as the other navigation items. I think it was now bar nav. Yeah, so this same class, I'm gonna use it again in for this pattern. So I'll say nav bar nav. And I'm also gonna give it a margin left auto. And inside, I'm gonna write a button tag. I'll give it the predefined bootstrap button class. And here I'll just say, get a quote then save if i come here ta -da. so here we have the logo here we have the various um navbar items and here we have our button so as you can see here we have the separation here because we specified the margin left as auto and here also we specified margin left auto i think everything is good to go now so it's now time to style our css part let me start with the generic tags so i would say html body font family uh so i would say poppins okay so poppins is the first tag at uh, the first uh, google font we imported here so i'm going to use it throughout my uh web page so font size i would say 15 pixels in general uh line height or uh, 1.5 i guess it's okay box sizing the border box margin zero overflow hidden then top will be zero and left will also be zero after that i will style the a tag so i will say text decoration none the color 54 comma 69 font weight will be 500 and here a hover will say color of the text so this is the text color i'm going to use so now let me come and refresh so as you can see the text color has changed and also when i put my cursor on the text on the link its color is changing all right so let me now style the unordered list so list style yeah list style type none then after that the first class i'm going to style will be the navbar class so i will say background white put in its height uh, we'll say zero and its minimum height so let me save. So this Nava class is actually the first class we have in our HTML code here, okay? So this is the class that we are styling. Let me come down here and see what happens. Okay, so all the styling has taken effect on our web page. So now I need to style the next class, which is the Navbar brand. So yeah, so Navbar, Navbar brand. So say pardon, display block text decoration none and all right then save so i'll say navbar brand by itself i need to give it um, a different font family i imported two font families so this is the font family i'm gonna give to my nav brand so this is it i'll say pacifico I'll say font size 2.5, another color. Let me refresh and see what happens. All right, so now this is the nav brand, our brand or the logo. I now need to style the nav bar toggler. I'll say background, this color, border none, pardon, and then the outline. You say none. So in order to see the effect, as you can see here, so the burger icon has changed. All right. So now I'm going to style the navbar toggler span tag. Say span. So display block. Border, we will say one pixel and then background all right simply save copy this paste so we do second tag if you remember we put three spine tags here so 
we're gonna do for the second spawn so we will say margin top margin left so we will do for the third spawn as well let me run all this so in here we will simply say weight 10 pixels and margin left uh, 4 pixels we refresh that that's as you can see here is I guess I need to change this margin left uh, 10 like this so the next class will be navbar expand large navbar nav and navbar link so I think this is Okay, we are talking about this class here. So navbar nav, and then this is navbar link, right? So let me set that as a pattern. Font size. So that's it. I will just copy this. And right here, I will say hover. I will say active as well. All right. Okay, let me see. So now let me style the button. This is going to be like this, navbar, navbar nav, button tag. I'll give it the pattern of 1.2, rem0. Border radius. So guys, that was it concerning the um, responsive navigation bar using Bootstrap version 5. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was informative. Please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to this channel. Let's meet in the next video.